Hello, welcome to NetVN channel. In this video I show you how to install a Windows XP on an old iPhone. This is how to create a virtual machine running Windows XP on iOS operating system. So I need to install a hypervisor on my iPhone. So I need the help of a computer running Windows 11. On my computer I have the latest version of Apple's iTunes installed. After completing the installation of iTunes you will be asked to restart your Windows computer. To install Hypervisor for iPhone I need to install AltStore on my Windows 11 computer. With AltStore I will create a server for the iPhone to connect to and from there the Hypervisor can be installed. AltStore has versions for Windows and Mac OS so you can use your Mac as a server. After completing the installation of AltStore you run it with admin rights. You also need to set up AltStore to go through your Windows computer's firewall so that your iPhone can connect to it. AltStore requires a Windows computer with iCloud installed so I will download and install it. iCloud requires you to restart your Windows computer to complete the installation. Here you enter your iCloud account. iCloud will help me sync data between my Windows computer and iPhone so I can upload files to my iPhone. I will now connect my iPhone to my Windows computer using a USB cable. Connecting successfully iTunes has detected that the iPhone has just been connected with a USB cable. Next I will install AltStore for iPhone. You will be asked to enter your iCloud account to install AltStore for iPhone. After successful login AltStore will be installed on iPhone in a few minutes. AltStore has been successfully installed on the iPhone but to use it you need the permission of the iOS operating system. So you set up as above to use Alt Store. After successful setup you can open Alt Store. Alt Store will help you install Hypervisor for iPhone. Thanks to the Hypervisor I can install Windows operating system on my iPhone. So what is Hypervisor for iPhone? In this video the hypervisor I installed on my iPhone is UTM. With UTM you can not only install Windows operating system but also install Linux operating system on iPhone. Also you can install UTM on Mac OS. I downloaded the latest version of UTM to my Windows computer to install it on my iPhone. Next I upload UTM to my iPhone using iCloud. On iPhone I open Alt Store to install UTM hypervisor. Thanks to iCloud I sync files between my Windows computer and iPhone. So I can install UTM using Alt Store. When installing apps using Alt Store, you will be asked to enter your iCloud account. And as you can see, I have finished installing the UTM hypervisor on my iPhone. Once my iPhone has a hypervisor, then I just need to install a Windows XP on my iPhone. But to install Windows XP, I need the installer. 
and here is the ISO file to install a Windows XP that I prepared. There are many different versions but this is the recommended version when you want to install a Windows XP on iPhone. Next I use iCloud to upload the Windows XP installation file to my iPhone. On a Windows computer I copy the ISO file and paste it into the iCloud folder to sync to iPhone. To install Windows XP on iPhone you need one more final file. It is a sample configuration file for the UTM hypervisor. This sample file will configure the virtual machine such as operating system, hard drive, internal memory. After downloading I sync the sample configuration file to my iPhone using iCloud as before. Sample configuration file with extension UUTM. With that I have completed the iPhone hypervisor installation and synced the necessary files to install a Windows XP. Next I will download the Windows XP installer to my iPhone. It will take a while to download. Once the download is complete I will move the file to my iPhone. I will move files from iCloud to iPhone to install a Windows XP virtual machine on iPhone. I then downloaded the sample configuration file to my iPhone. After downloading the sample file I moved it to my iPhone. The required files have been downloaded to iPhone. You rename the sample configuration file for the Windows XP virtual machine to match the UTM application. The hypervisor uses a sample configuration file with the extension UUTM. Next I use the sample configuration file for the Windows XP virtual machine to install the operating system. To install the Windows XP operating system I use the ISO file that was downloaded to the iPhone in the previous step. Windows XP Virtual Machine has been created successfully. Next I will install the Windows XP operating system to the newly created virtual machine. I only introduce the main steps when installing Windows XP operating system. Here you format the hard disk and copy the files to install the operating system. And here is my result. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe.